right, welcome back. Um, today we're going to talk about surface area, um, and we're mostly going to um, talk about we're going to talk about formulas and what's called nets. All right, so surface area is simply how much material it takes to make a solid. Um, when you take it apart um, and lay it out flat, that we're going to find that area, and that's what's called a net. Um, the lateral area is the area around an object, not including the bases. So if you think of a paper towel roll, it only has a lateral area since it's open on the top and the bottom. So we're just looking for that area if we cut that and open it up, just that area. That's a lateral area. All right, first we're going to take a look at a rectangular prism. All right, so that's the three-dimensional shape on the right. And if we cut that box apart and laid it out flat, we have the shape to the left, which is called the net. All right, so the formula for the surface area of a rectangular prism is 2B plus pH, where B is the area of the base and the P is the perimeter of the base. So let's take a look at this two different ways. We're going to look at it using the formula and we're going to look at it using the net. All right, so just using the formula, all right, the shaded area on the bottom, that's our base. So the area of our base is 2 times 3, which is 6. All right, our perimeter, that's the area around the base. So we've got another side, 3 over there, and 2. So our perimeter is 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2, which gives me 10. So if we plug these numbers into the formula, so our surface area is 2 times the base, so 2 times 6, plus the perimeter, which we said was 10, times our height, which is 6. Calculate that out. We've got 12 plus 60, which gives me a surface area of 72 square centimeters. All right, now we're going to look at it using the net. And you can do these either way. It does not matter to me which way you choose. All right. So if I'm going to use the net, I'm breaking this down into a bunch of different shapes, a bunch of rectangles. All right. So this first one, the area of that one is going to be 6 times 3, so 18. The next one is going to be this length is 6. We have a length of 2, so that's going to be 12. Again, here we have a length of 3 and a length of 6. We've got another 18. And then this one is going to also have a length of 2 and a length of 6, so that one's going to be another 12. All right, and then these little ends here, we've got a 3 and a 2, so those are both going to be 6. Now, if we add them all up together, so we've got kind of two flaps, 6 plus 6, 12 and 18, another 12 and 18, and lo and behold, if we add those together, we get the same answer. All right, so that's both using the formula and using the net to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. All right, a triangular prism is the same shape. So we are finding the area of our base, finding the perimeter multiplying times the height, or if you look at it using the net, you're just going to find the area of all of those shapes. So if we look at the formula, the area of our base, our base is a triangle, so it's going to be one half times base times height, so 10 times 12, All right? That's the area of our base, the perimeter of that triangle. So each side length here is 13. So we're going to have 13 plus 13 plus 10. So our perimeter is going to be 36. All right, if we plug these into the formula, so we've got our surface area is 2 times the area of our base, which is 60. So 2 times 60 plus our perimeter, which is 36, times the height of our solid. So that's the one measurement we haven't used yet, times 18. Calculate that in your calculator, and you get 768. All right, if we look at the net, so we've got 13 times 18 for this rectangle, which gives us an area of 234. All right, if we look at the middle, we've got 10 times 18, so 180 there. And then we've got another 13 times 18, so 234. So the triangular flaps, we've got 
1 half times 10 times 12, which gives us areas of 60. We add all of these together. So we've got 60 plus 60, 134, 180, 134. We add those up together. We get 768 square inches. All right, cylinders. So cylinders is actually the same formula, but this time we're dealing with circles, so we've got pi in there. So we've got our formula, which is 2 pi r squared, and our pi r squared, this is the area of a circle. All right, and then we are adding the area of this rectangle. So this 2 pi r, this part is simply the circumference of our circle. If we roll this circle along that edge, it will go all the way around. So it's the circumference times the height. All right, so let's do an example of this one. Let's say we have a radius of 10 and a height of 12. All right, so we need to find the area of our bases, and we've got two of them. That's where the two comes from. Our radius is 10, so 10 squared. All right, so we plug that in. So we've got 2 pi times 10 squared plus 2 pi times 10 times 12. Multiply that or do that calculation in your calculator. And you will get 1382.30. All right, a pyramid. So the pyramid is similar, but this time we're just taking the area of our base and then the area of all the sides, which is called the lateral area. So these four faces, um, this, this, these four triangles, that's called our lateral area. All right, so what we need to do is we need to find the area of a base, of the base, which is a square. So the area of our base is going to be 3 times 3. The area of one triangle, all the triangles are going to be the same. So the area of one triangle is 1 half times 3 times 5, which is our height. So that's what's going to give us the right angle. All right, and we have four of those triangles. So we're going to multiply that times four. All right, so we've got our surface area. It's going to be the area of our base, which is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus our lateral area, which is ends up being... 30 if you make that calculation. So our surface area is 39 inches squared. All right, triangular prisms or pyramids, excuse me, all right, are actually a little bit easier because a triangular pyramid just makes four of the same shape. So it's actually we can just find the area of our base, which in this case, remember it's a triangle, so one half times we have an 8, and then the height of our triangle is 6.9, and we have four of these. We can just find the area of that base, multiply it by 4, so this ends up being the area of our base is 27.6. We have four of those, which ends up to be 110.4 centimeters. When we're dealing with area, so units are always going to be squared. All right, cones. All right, so the formula for a cone comes from um, finding a, the area of a sector. So if we were normally in class, we would actually go through that kind of drive where this formula actually comes from. Um, but we're rushing through this kind of fast, so I really just want you to get... Um, the, being able to use these formulas and kind of seeing what surface area means. All right, so the formula is pi r squared plus pi r l. 
All right, so if we take the cone apart, what we've got is a circle with radius r, and then another circle with a radius of l, and l is the length of the slant, so the diagonal of that cone from the peak to the base. All right, so for example, let's say again our radius is 10 and our slant height is 12. So to find the surface area, we are going to pop those into our equations. So that first part, pi r squared, is simply the area of that circle. So we've got pi times 10 squared. And then we have the area of our sector, which ends up being pi times the radius times our slant height, which is 12. All right, we do those calculations. We get 691.15, and we'll call them centimeters. All right, so that is surface area of a cone. And finally, we have surface area of a sphere. Now, if you, I put a beach ball up here because I think it's easy to see how those panels of a beach ball come apart, and you would end up with a net that would look like this. Frankly, that's not helpful to me. I still don't know how to find the area of those shapes. So, again, if we were in class, we would probably talk more about where this comes from. But this formula actually comes from making tiny little pyramids from the inside, the center of the, the base circle. So if we had a circle inside at the widest part of the ball, this would actually come from making tiny little pyramids inside there. All right, but we are not going to derive the formula. We're just going to use it. So the surface area of this is pi 4 times pi r squared. So all we need for this is the radius. So if we say our radius is 10 inches, we are just going to plug this into our formula. So our surface area is 4 times pi times 10 squared. Notice the difference between the service area and the volume. So volume, we had 4 thirds, four thirds pi r cubed. Service area is 4 pi r squared. So if our radius is 10, we have 4 pi times 10 squared, which comes out to 1256.6 inches squared. That's how much material it would take to make up that beach ball. All right, so those are the service area formulas. There is a formula sheet for you in Schoology. It might look slightly different. These notes will also be in Schoology, so you can refer back to them. And if you have any questions, let me know.